Okay, viewers, time for some more Dragon Ball Z Legendary Super Warriors. Let's do it. Piccolo's a fucking beast and dominated cell. And it just switches back to these guys, so we're not really too sure what happens just yet. And here it actually explains right here. Uh, cell is as it explains, built from cells from Goku, Frieza, Vegeta, basically everyone, so he's able to use all the people's attacks. And he's from way in the future. And he needs to absorb 17 and 18 to become complete, but in his world, the androids were destroyed by Trunks. And he was strong enough that he actually beat Trunks and took his time machine after that. And Piccolo was about to finish him, but he used a solar flare and escaped. And now he's just running around the world looking for 17 and 18. And he's absorbing people, which gives him strength. And Krillin and Trunks went to Jiro's uh, base. And they destroyed the cell that's in still in a test tube in this time. And they also got some plans to give to Bulma so she can create a switch to turn them off and it skips days into the future apparently and they're gonna fly around in the airplane so cell can't feel him approach and goku's healed just like that he just shows up all right as you can see today we're fighting some of these fucking androids Kami Piccolo. Just call me Piccolo, bitch. That's what he should have said. And Goku says he's not strong enough, so he wants to go train in the hyperbolic time chamber. Everyone knows what that is. You can get a year's training in one damn day. So Goku and Gohan are about to go do that. In a room in Kami's lookout, one year in there equals a day in our world. And Vegeta and Trunks are going to go in the room first, since it can only fit two people at a time. And Vegeta is super eager to get his training done. And Piccolo is facing his opponents now. Don't feel their Kai, so it's obviously the androids. Gohan thinks Piccolo's gonna lose, but that's not gonna happen. No fucking way. Okay. So, it's Piccolo versus 17. Um, we, go we went ahead and gained a level, so we'll go ahead and put that into our life. Now we're quite a bit stronger. Um... 110, 13, yeah, see, that's not very bad at all. Okay. We're not gonna change our limits. Our limits are fine. I do want to change our deck around a little bit, though. We are going to get rid of the Kaio. And we're going to put in the Shockwave. We'll need that. Next, we are also going to get rid of the Full Spirit. And we're going to put in the Heart Virus. Okay, that looks good. Yep. Make sure it's Piccolo Kami. Level 2, all good. Got our limits. Alright, it's time to fuck 17 up. Fuck you, 17. Okay, now, 17 is actually... He's extremely strong. His stats are way higher than... Basically anyone we fought except for Frieza. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop this heart virus since we got it first turn, actually. 
Now, the reason this battle isn't too tough, though, is because of how good Piccolo is. Piccolo is just so good. And the Heart Virus worked. That lowers all of 17's attacks across the board. They all will do less damage now. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and use this 4 stage attack right here. Alright. 17's using lock on just like Jiro and them did. Now I'm thinking 17, he does have energy attacks and he does use them. But most of the time he uses his crazy rush. Now the crazy rush is a combo attack and it does insane damage. Obviously, I'm not too worried since I've got multiple Dendes plus Piccolo's Resurrection, so... It's not that big of a deal, but I do need to be careful here. Um, we've got this capsule fridge. That's good. Let's go ahead and gather power. I'm not gonna do anything until 17. Well... Maybe not, because 17 is using all of his CC on these secondary abilities here. Like, Lock On? Lock On is not very good. I would never waste my CC for that. We'll go ahead and use this Capsule Corp fridge here. See, if I was using, like, Gohan right now, this would be an incredibly hard fight. But since it's Piccolo, Goku would also curb stomp 17. Since he could have Teleport and Teoken in his limits. That is so useful when you can do that. We're going to go ahead and use a 5-stage attack right here. A, B, B over B. There you go, 17, you cocksucker. Bitch. Let's see here. I could move up, but I'm gonna go ahead and hold my ground right here. And we'll just let 17 sit here and do his bitch-ass three-stage attacks all day. Because as we've seen over and over again, when these dumbasses just use three-stage attacks, that doesn't do anything for them. They, they just get fucked up. So if he wants to keep doing that all day, he is welcome to it. Me, on the other hand, I'm using five stage attacks. So I'm getting a hell of a lot more bang for my buck. Get some of this, bitch. Okay. So 17's up in the air, that's cool. I would like to hit him with a special beam cannon. And we have an Endurance that will be extremely useful. I really would like 17 to gather... Oh, wow, Crazy Rush right off the bat, huh? That is a random one. I'm in the air, though, so I have some defense against it. That is really surprising. If it... Yeah, that... see, that does ridiculous damage. Wow, I'm really surprised he did that. Uh, we are going to... We're gonna go ahead and gather power because I want to use some resurrection. And he's using lock on. Alright, whatever. You you go ahead and do that, bro. Um, I am going to use a resurrection right here in the defensive phase. continue to gain as much life as we can. See, when you use it in the defensive phase, it doesn't really give you too much, but it's better than nothing. Uh, we will go ahead and use it again. And we'll get rid of one of these Masenkos here. Masenkos. 
17 is just moving around. Whatever, that's fine. You can do whatever you want to, 17. I'm just over here recovering health. So that takes away his crazy damage from the crazy rush. We've got nothing, so we'll go ahead and just, uh... We'll guard right here. Wow, he has some five-stage attacks. He's using a lot of those, huh? 17. I know he'll use, um... He'll use a Super Kai Ball. I'm pretty sure he can... He has an I-Beam or two in his deck also. He also has a unique card that he can use as a limit, uh, called Barrier, which will block an energy attack. I'm gonna go ahead and smack him with a special beam cannon right here, and we will get rid of... We're gonna get rid of this avoiding right here, and we'll just take advantage of the endurance cards we have. 17, I'm pretty sure when he's in Gather Power... He has a barrier as one of his limits, so he will use that. So I'm hesitant to use a special when he has gather power. And wow, that did a ton of damage. Holy shit. Uh, we got two endurances. That's not bad. Let's see what he does. Crazy rush. All right. That's two crazy rushes, not even in gather power mode. That's crazy. Oh, man, that does so much damage. Uh, what is this? After image. If I could hit him with this Misenko, he's dead. Hmm. Choices. We're gonna go ahead and use Gather Power. And we're going to get rid of one of these five-stage attacks. He didn't use the defense there. Okay, that's interesting. I think I'm going to go ahead and use uh, another Resurrection. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Seventeen has a very impressive deck. That's multiple five sage attacks he's had too. I would like to draw one of my Dendes here. That's probably it right there. Oh, it's not Chaozu. We can use Chaozu. Let's go ahead and. I'm actually going to do something I wouldn't normally do here. I'm going to go ahead and use this after image in my attack stage. We'll just go ahead and get this up. Just in case 17 throws out another one of those random crazy rushes. I can't believe he did two of those not in gather power already. That is so rare. And now we're going to go ahead and use Chaozu. Hopefully, if this works, we can get two turns in a row and we can really gain control here. I also applied the heart virus to him. So, had I not done that, he would be doing even more damage right now. 17 really is impressively strong. Shockwave, that's weird. Alright. And do I get another turn? I do. Beautiful. Dende would be nice. Uh, it looks like Dende, too. We'll go ahead and throw that up. See, it just shows you... Like, Piccolo... Just has so many options for defense... It's just, it's really hard to lose with Piccolo. A continue kick. 17, he's loving using these combo attacks today. 
without gathering power, too. So bizarre. There's After Image kicking in. That's why After Image is very good. Because when they throw out a random super like that, you can just go ahead and block it. No problem. That's probably an energy wave. Yep. I think I could use that to finish him next turn. So we'll use this five stage attack here. Another shockwave. Wow, you're desperate, huh? Yeah, now I could just use the energy wave and finish him off. He's gathering power, okay. Hmm. I know it is in my advantage. The longer I drag this out, the better my chances are. Perhaps I will gather power instead of finishing him off. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And we'll get rid of the Masenko. We're not gonna need that. That's overkill at this point. Capsule Corp Fridge. Interesting. Now, do I have two Endurances? I do. So, even though I don't think he's gonna use a special, I'm gonna go ahead and use Endurance right here. I didn't- yep, I didn't think he was gonna, but just to be safe, I used it. Seventeen, he sure is tricky. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw out a five stage attack right here. And 17, I could probably just finish him off with a combination of five stage attacks and some recovery right here. Wow, this, if he uses a special, it's not gonna hurt a lot at all. But we'll go ahead and throw it endurance out anyway. Energy wave. This is gonna do nothing. Wow, I, uh, Could have been worse. I don't think I'll have 12. I won't. But I'll go ahead and use resurrection. Because again, the goal is just to outlast 17 here. He obviously does not have very much CC since he used Energy Wave. Um, Foresight. Yeah, we'll go ahead. Gather power. You fucking cocksucker. He must be gathering power so he could take advantage of uh, maybe a 5 Sage attack he has in his limit. There's my other Dende, it should be. Yep. Um, so we are going to... What are we gonna do? We're gonna use three stage attack. I, I usually really do not use these, but I'm thinking... Jeez, probably three three stage attacks finishes him off here. Nope, just one more after this and he's done. Wow, I don't know why it pushed me up right next to him like this. Let's use Foresight. There we go, perfect. We'll prevent him from using his five stage attack. Fuck out of here. Wow, this has definitely been a battle of attrition right here. And I'm not sure what that is. Oh, another Capsule Corp Fridge. Nice. Let's throw out a three-stage attack. This should finish him. It might not. I'm, I'm banking on this winning the battle, though. Yep. Later, bitch. 
You gave it quite a run. You were... That was pretty tough, but, uh... I outplayed you, you dumbass. So get some of that dick. Uh, another Masenko. We won't need those. Destructo Disc. I don't think we're gonna need that. We'll go ahead and take a Super Kamehameha. That seems pretty good. Alright. It's sad, but, you know, we're not gonna be able to use Piccolo anymore. So, easy time is past. Now things start to get progressively harder as we start battling Cell soon. He, he, we don't fight him next time, but pretty soon it's going to be time for the Cell games. Later.